Welcome to Evolution, my name's Russ, this is Jack. Uh, we've had a heap of interest since we released the, uh, the teaser for the electric ATV. I thought it was a really good opportunity uh, to run through the specifications. It's been interesting having the feedback on, on YouTube and social media and all that kind of stuff. And overarching has been the question, why did we do it when Polaris already do an electric ATV? Answers are, are many, uh, to be quite frank. So uh, let's start with the drivetrain. First of all, it has three motors, two in the front, one in the rear. Also that means we've got independent wheel drive or four wheel drive. Why do we want that? Well, personally we don't, but the customer does. The customer wants the vehicle to have high survivability. One of the wheels is disabled for whatever reason, the vehicle can still run and drag itself home if the need arises. Uh, and this system we're particularly proud of. Uh, we've obviously needed to shoehorn three motors into this into the vehicle somehow, um, and then also tune the tune the vehicle such that the motors aren't finding each other, or one motor isn't doing more work than than the other. Uh, and the packaging has been particularly charging but rewarding to pull off as well. So we're pretty proud of that. The, the important thing to mention about that is it's actually dynamic has tan has dynamic torque vectoring, which I think it's pretty much un un unheard of in, in, this, in a vehicle of this type. So if you're thinking it's just an electric vehicle or just an electric ATV, absolutely not. There's, there's, there's definitely more to it than, than just slapping a motor in, in the vehicle. We've really gone to town in terms of the tech and the drivability of it and the survivability of the vehicle to make it um, the, the best of breed for the customer. The other thing to talk about is essentially the battery configuration in here. It's actually got two batteries, uh, one under the seat and another in another, another in another location, which I can't really talk about. But essentially it's got two batteries and that means that if one of the batteries is disabled for whatever reason, then again, it still has an additional power to be able to drive itself home and get whoever's driving this out, out of trouble. So one of the uh, key things that uh, differentiates this the battery range, uh, so yes Polaris has one that uh, is I think around 30 horsepower and really short life with uh, uh, lead acid batteries. This thing has as much battery as, as a modern uh, electric vehicle, so you can get hundreds of Ks out of this. Um, the power out of the rear drive is just phenomenal. Um, this thing could, uh, if you really wanted to, do burnouts and donuts on the spot. Um, the other thing, the other key cool thing is exportable power. So um, a defence department or a hunter or anybody could actually take this off-road deep into the forest and use appliances, um, charge equipment, um, which uh, enables people to be remote, truly remote and self-sufficient. Or watch um, TV even. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, or make your espresso. Yeah. The other key thing is front drives. Um, they're geared in such a way to be able to pull you out of any situation. So it's uh, quite low range and quite powerful. Yeah. Um, using um, uh, specially developed and bespoke developed um, technology here um, within yeah. this workshop. Yeah. Which obviously, again, we're, we're pretty proud of. Um, just a word on the power, and um, we have actually had this drifting. Um, but <laughs> uh, so it's, it's, it's that level of, 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 and actually control as well. You're able to con control the vehicle on the throttle, you know, uh, extremely effectively. Um, in terms of power, we're looking at around 550 newton meters of torque. So it's, in a, in a small package, it's, uh, I don't think there's anything else on the market or available. Um, so yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's, it's certainly uh, a, a hoot to drive to, to say the least and, and uh, a vast difference to the when it was first delivered uh, with the fairly asthmatic uh, two-cylinder or three-cylinder diesel motor in it or whatever it was with a CVT gearbox. So yeah, a whole, whole lot better than it was previously. So inside, it's actually pretty simple to drive. Uh, we've maintained a lot of the existing controls. Uh, so other than you know a, a couple of switches for switching off and on and off the uh, the front drives, uh, it's pretty straightforward. You've got high range, low, low range, reverse, park, neutral, all that kind of stuff. So literally anyone can just jump in this and drive it straight straight away. Uh, and again, like I said earlier, it's very controllable because typically, obviously, you want explosive acceleration, which is what it's got, but also you're able to troll, not those guys on the internet that go and type 
you know, rude comments and derogatory comments on there, but essentially you're able to go really slowly uh, and just, you know, right down to a, a snail's pace, walking pace, whatever you want to call it, and then from that point forward, put your foot down and it'll just take off. The other thing it's got is hill, to, hill descent mode, so we can essentially enable that and then when you go downhill it will maintain a certain speed uh, all the way down without you having to touch the brakes and all the while putting uh, power into the battery. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it in, in here. It's pretty simple, effective, easy to use and a heap of fun obviously. So one of the benefits of upgrading from diesel to electric uh, is it reduces the heat signature and the noise uh, so you won't annoy your neighbours or whatever application uh, you intend to use it for. Uh, the customizability of the, uh, the electric drivetrain is uh, immense. Uh, currently this is turned down um, so we have the ability to customise it by turning the power up even more if we wanted to and we could also uh, customise the gearing for off-road or, or highway use. So this is um, infinitely adjustable um, with the current uh, drivetrain and batteries that I've put that we've put into this unit. This is my good side. <laughs> you, did you get that? That's a, that's as good. Put down the outro at the end, right? <laughs> but, okay. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also check out our sponsors who make all this possible. Without them, we wouldn't be here doing this. Many thanks. See you soon.